Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition, is all about warming up like a professional. Stop warming up like an amateur. In today's episode, we're talking about the professional way to warm up. Too many times I see warm ups, whether it's for sparring or fights, the same kind of thing. So either skipping and then pad work with the coach and then they go to fight. We need to work our different timings and different things to be able to prepare ourselves perfectly for the fight or the sparring session, okay? Either or, but a proper warm up fight related is important, okay? So yes, one of the main things I'm gonna skip in this video is you should do your stretching, you should do that little bit of shadow, you should be activating your calves, that's all very important. But these five, I feel, should be practiced before you get into the ring. Okay, so let's get into the first one. Now, the first one we're gonna talk about is guided shadow boxing. Now, when you're shadow boxing, whether, you know, depending on your level, as the coach, I always like to guide my fighters through it. Now, too many times, shadow boxing, and then they just throw random combinations. Shadow boxing is a bigger tool than just getting your body moving, okay? There's still practicing the fight concept. So, right away, I'm gonna guide my fighter through the shadow boxing, right? If I know my the opponent has a good right hand, the idea might be, okay, I want you to shadow box, block the right hand, and then counter off, right? So even though you're shadow boxing, you're still building in the technique. Or they might have a good low kick, so you're blocking, block the low kick, and then counter off. Okay? So I'm guiding my fighter through the warm-up. So Matt's gonna keep going, I'll give some of the examples. I might be calling punch only. I might ask for more feints. Okay, Matt, I want some shifting and forward pressure, okay? Now he's coming forward. Matt, I need you to draw attack in, draw your opponent in, look for your kicks, look for your knees. I need more angles, right? So you're making them, you're talking to them, so you're building that little connection between your fighter and the coach, and this way, when you fight, they understand the language. Things are gonna flow a little bit better. So a form of guided shadow boxing, whether it's opponent related or some concepts, but make sure you build in the fainting, a hand control, pressure, forward, backwards, maybe lateral tracking, right? Depending on what you're planning on doing in your session, you should be practicing it in your shadow boxing, okay? Now, the second thing, once your body's moved up, the concepts are engraved in the mind, sometimes it's nice, what I like to do is just defense. So, Matt will start coming here, and he'll start throwing his punches on me, so boom, I'm just, and I'm working on different types of defense. I might use my, I might use parries, okay? I might use the parry to warm up, and then I start getting into the wedge, okay? And start playing this way, and then I start mixing and matching, okay? And then I start going. Okay, so just defense is important. Then once I get confident, even with just defense, you'll notice, right, the professional way is I play with the defense. I don't let my opponent dictate, right? So that is the key when you're doing this drill, right? What I mean by that is I determine the range. If Matt throws one, two, three, I might move. Or I might come in and I might pressure and, and control the punches. So make sure you practice defense going forward, as well as defense moving as well, okay? Because in the fight, you're gonna need the ability to adapt. Same thing in sparring. You have to go forward or back or move or circle or angle, so you get to warm up your defense a little bit more intelligently. Now, once your defense is sharp, okay, part three to the warm up is punches versus kicks. Now, too many times when we see fighting and sparring, what happens is even at the highest level with kickboxing and MMA is it turns into only boxing or then one single kick with boxing. So it's important to, in my mind, to practice the timings that are the most important. And the most valuable type of timing is punches versus kicks. So the same thing, they don't have to be advanced combinations. I'm just working simple timing to warm up. So Matt might just throw the jab. I chop the leg, throws the jab again. I kick the body, jab again, front kick, okay? And then when I'm comfortable, he throws the one, two. One, two, start chopping the leg, go to the body. I got front kicks. He might come in, boom, time with my knees, okay? So already, we're practicing the punches versus kicks. Then he can go into one, two, three. So at the same time, I'm working my defense as well as different timing drills, boom, all right? And keeping him away. And again, playing with different ranges, using my push-off attack. Sometimes I'm gonna kick fight from long, 
Okay, sometimes I kick fight from a clinch with a push off attack, okay? So you notice, again, I control the range of my opponent. They don't control me, okay? So part four now, okay, is we're moving into fight concepts, right? So we warmed up with our shadow boxing, got our mind, our footwork right, right? Part two, we start practicing the defense. Three, we need that defense to practice the timing to kick effectively underneath. And then this is where the real fight concept comes. So the one we do here is called counter the counter. Now with counter the counter drilling, I don't, my first combination, right, is wanting Matt to counter. So while I'm here, I'm fainting and I'm light touching, right? I'm just light touching and then we build in the counter. So if I know I'm fighting someone, like I mentioned in the shadow boxing, that has a good rear hand, this is where we practice and drill this, where I'm occupying space, the rear hand comes, I block it, and then I counter the counter, right? So this way here, as a coach, we'd practice the different counters to the rear hand. Okay, and it could be anything, right? It can be a lead hook, rear kick, it can be a, a low kick. So I'll just take you through a few. We'll start with the rear hand. So one here, I can catch it, attack with a combination. I'm, I'm encouraging my fighters at this point, punch to kick flow or kick to punch, mix it up. I could also occupy space, the punch comes. I could slip counter, come back. Okay, now a lead hook comes, same thing. Boom, catch here, come back with my combination. Say a low kick comes, boom, block into my counters. Or low kick, slip, come back in and keep attacking that way, okay? So we're building the real fight, more realistic style, right? You use your probes, you're occupying space, and you're fainting, you get a counter, block, slip, evade, and then counter back, counter the counter, okay? Now the last part of this is what most people do as the main one. But I threw this as the last one, but not for the reason you think. Now, the last one is pad work or bag work, right? Now, why is this the last one? And it's a different concept is because what happens now, I'm not using this to warm up, but I'm using it to make sure my shins are warmed up, my bones are nice and strong, and that I'm ready to go. If you've ever sparred, and I'm sure a lot of you on this channel have, your first kick, if your shins aren't warm and you went shin to shin, even with shin guards, all of a sudden you're like, oh. Or you smack your toe for the first time in sparring. Yeah, you know the toe smack. Already I heard, I've seen everybody's face, I didn't even have to see it. You know the cold toe smack. Does not feel good on your toes, okay? So these are the types of things we wanna warm up. Warm up the bones, the density. So even if it's just nice and light, what I'm doing is I'm trying to feel and dig my shin, making sure I'm landing with the right part of my shins, okay? Even if it's a left kick, I'm finding my shin. Now, the biggest problem people have, and then even with the bag, the biggest problem people have when they put shin guards on is they don't know how to land with the blade of the shin. So this is why hitting pads before you put your shin guards on, right there, I can feel you know, the sharp part of my shin. I'm landing right, I'm not landing with the, the flat part of my shin. I'm making sure I land with the sharp part. So now with my shin guards on and I'm throwing and landing kicks, it starts feeling better. I'm not gonna damage my shin, they're warmed up. And anything, they're more dense. I'm conditioning them, right? So very important to smack and kind of numb the shins up and the feet a little bit. Why I like the bag is because even on the bag, sometimes I hit with my instep, sometimes low shin, sometimes high shin, sometimes I kick on a 45. I kick on different angles to warm up all the different angles of my shin. Okay? Sounds weird, but let me tell you, once you spar after warming up your shins, you're going to be that much more confident throwing your kicks. All right? I hope you learned a lot from this episode because it's a very important one, okay? Using the right warm-ups are just going to help you, one, fight better and train better, right? That's what we want. At the end of the day, if you're doing these warm-ups and you're having to warm up in your sparring and then sparring is done, you didn't really get to accomplish anything. Good defense, good timing, good footwork, sharp shins all gonna make you a better fighter, okay? Make sure you guys like, subscribe to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA, and make sure you support the channel sponsors. We have Perfect Sports Nutrition. I'm gonna give you guys 20% off using the code Bazooka20. We have Hayabusa by going to hayabusafight.com, all linked in the description below. Last but not least, we have bazookatraining.com. For $9.99 a month, you get a full curriculum and training from me all online, right? These YouTube videos are just an introduction. If you wanna learn the details of these drills and all put together in a curriculum for you, bazookatraining.com. And you get four brand new videos every single week.
You got no equipment? All good, we have home workouts for you. You have a bag and you have no idea what it's doing and it's collecting dust in your garage. <clears throat> I give you a full bag work curriculum for that. If you have a partner to drill and practice with, we have sparring drills and tutorials. And now we have an archive of over 200 videos that you get to decide what you wanna work on. You can even search. I wanna search kicks, punches, knees, combinations, fight concepts, all of that stuff you can search, create your own learning all at bazookatraining.com for $9.99 per month. All right, we'll see you next time here. First, head over to bazookatraining.com, and then we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.